Hi, I'm Becca Height at Johnson Animal Clinic. Judy has a few questions for me today regarding dog parasites. All right, so Dr. Height, how old does my dog need to be to start parasite prevention? So typically we will do that for you when you come to the clinic between the six and nine week mark. Um, a lot of breeders or shelters have already started those dewormers as soon as two to four weeks. Okay, and then what are intestinal parasites and how do I get rid of them in my dog? So intestinal, par intestinal parasites are very common in animals um, where it is a fecal oral route. They're going to get that generally from their mom as a puppy that's transferred almost always through the uterus. Um, roundworms and hookworms are the most common. And there are broad spectrum dewormers that we give, whether we have a fecal test or not, we'll typically give a dewormer that gets rid of roundworms, hookworms, sometimes whips and hooks as well. Okay. And then what are external parasites and what can I do to prevent them? So external parasites, the obvious one would be fleas, um, ticks, which depending on your area are really popular, uh, depending on the season. And lice, mites like scabies or demodectic mange, those are pretty common, scabies a little less so, but fleas are probably the most common thing you'll see. Okay, and how soon should I bring my dog into the veterinarian if I suspect they may have parasites? So especially intestinal parasites, a fecal check is a good idea. We always recommend that in our puppies, even if they've de been dewormed multiple times, because they may have a parasite that hasn't been dewormed for, such as Giardia or Coccidia. Um, those are all easily treatable, um, especially with new medications that they've come out. Okay. And how will a veterinarian diagnose parasites in my dog? So we just need a simple fecal sample. We send ours off to the lab and they do centrifugation and that is really helpful to get the weight of those parasites. You get a much better positive or negative result you can feel better about. So we send those off to the lab. You just drop off a fresh sample of stool. Okay, and can you explain centrifugation a little bit? Yeah, so the weight of the egg, depending on the parasite, can be so varied, especially a condition like Giardia, where they don't always show up on a stool sample, where some of us would just use a fecal float analysis. Uh, we've changed our method to send it to the centrifuge because those are drawn down into the sample in the stool and the eggs float up. Uh, so you have a much better positive um, result and you get a lot more accurate result. Okay. Now, is ringworm a parasite? It is not. Um, kind of a misnomer because it is, although it looks like a worm, it is a fungus. Okay. And last question, why is early detection and diagnosis of parasites so important? So it's really important, especially in young dogs, because it can cause really subtle problems like lack of weight gain, chronic intermittent gas or diarrhea. They may not eat as well. They may just be eating a ton and not gaining weight. And the sooner you get that taken care of, the more health of the gut you have to go long term. Okay. And then if anyone has any questions regarding dog parasites, what should they do? Sure. You can go to johnsonanimalclinic.com or call us at 502-456-2870.